Right, this thing is finished. Almost, it is so close. Um, everything is done apart from the decals and that's purely because that's not in my control. Um, my friend's gonna make them when he can. Uh, fortunately, I, he didn't have them done so I couldn't pick them up on Sunday. But um, he will get them done and I'll wait. as soon as he's done that, I'll pick them up and I'll put them on. But other than that, it is done. So since the last video, I've done all the wiring. So it's all back here in this box. Um, open that up. I put a couple of magnets there. There's some magnets on the back of those white handles just to keep it shut. Uh, power switch is there and the battery connector is just next to it. I use um, I use this little doodah, little 1600 milliamp lipo to sit in it. There's so much room in there, it's unbelievable. The whole beer unit's on the other side. Um, and it, yeah, so that's all sorted. It, it, it works, it's, um, it's all wired up and it talks to the truck perfectly. There's nothing wrong with it. So that's all good. Um, I finished the floor, so I put some pictures up so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, I've gone, got some more wood stain, I've gone right up to the front bulkhead, um, so that's all lovely and sorted, so the inside's done. And I've put the red underglow that was on the tipper, I've actually put it on this, so I've got one strip there, and then the other is above that axle, on, underneath the floor. So I took them off the tipper. I've gutted that thing completely, pretty much. All the electrics has come off of that. It's just the lights that I've left on. I put that back away in storage because I'm not going to do anything with it for now. And I thought I would uh, put the underglow on this because obviously it'd be more useful on this. So I've done that. Uh, looks pretty nice. And also at the top here, I've finished these metal bars that go across. Now I've wrapped them at the minute in vinyl wrap. That wrap is completely temporary, um, it's just to cover up the raw aluminium because I can't paint, it's too cold or wet and I don't want to do any more painting, I'm bored of it so I'm going to have a break from painting until next year. So I just thought I'll get some vinyl wrap, stick it on there, These stick, they sort of blend in there, you don't really pay much attention to them and in the spring when I can I'll just peel that off, it's just a sticker, it's all it is, and I will prime them and paint them gloss black in the spring but for now they, uh, they just blend in, which is what I wanted, but and they work fine, um, and that's it really. So it's it's pretty much yeah it's done. I mean I just got to get those stickers for the, the rear doors and the rear flap, and uh, once that they're on it, that's it. And then in the spring I'll paint those top bits of metal, and that's it. Um, so yeah, uh, this video comes out on Saturday the thirtieth. Today on on the Saturday I'm actually going to Plymouth. Uh, the Plymouth Club is run by John, who owns Aztec Models. So I'm taking the, the T-Cab and this to there to give it its first test. This trailer hasn't been at a meeting since January, and this is what it looked like back then. So I'm hoping, uh, obviously I'm a bit always a bit nervous when I take things out for the first time, make sure nothing falls off or catches fire, but we should be all right. Um, if not, obviously I'll bring it back and fix it. If it's fine, this thing will go back in its box out of the way. I've just got a Christmas tree box for it. Um, so I'll put that in there and move it out of the way because quite frankly, I'm bored of it being here. I want to move on to something else. So it's done. Uh, the next video, hopefully, uh, this will be the last video on this thing. Um, I'll put the stickers on at some point in the future, but this is what it will look like. I'll put a, a, a little design up, my Vavis symbol on the doors and expressive style on the flap. Um, yeah, in the future I might have some more graphics made, maybe some for the inside of the doors, maybe some for the inside of the front bulkhead, but not too worried about that at the minute. Um, and yeah, so hopefully now that this thing's done, I can move on to other stuff. The wrecker, I've got a few bits and bobs on the way for that. Um, and I'll show you them when they arrive. I'm hoping the next video will be the trailer for that because that it is on the way. It's being shipped from China, so your fingers crossed it should be here relatively soon, and that's going to be really cool. So I'm hoping next week, like that next week's video, will be an unboxing of that trailer because it's it's pretty special. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this build series, and um, yeah, I think it's uh, it's turned out quite nice. I'll. Uh, I might do a video on it next week, or maybe not. I might just bang a picture of it in the video I do for that one's trailer, just to see what it looked like out and about, out of my out of the house, you know, out of meeting. It's going Plymouth, say on the 30th, and then the week after it's going to Western Super Mare. I'm hoping I can get the stickers on it before Western, but we'll see. Um, 
and there it is. So, yep, a Carson curtain side trailer that's been modified to have actual functioning curtains. Um, so, yeah, hope you enjoyed this series. Hope you found it useful or entertaining or whatever. <laughs> and um, I will, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.